What you're witnessing here is the uh, remnants of Tropical Storm Bertha, which has not been tropical for quite a long time now, but it is delivering heavy rains here in the UK this morning, um, and has done for several hours this morning um, here in the northwest of England. Of course, it's been striking uh, many other areas as well. I think Southern Ireland had it the worst uh, yesterday evening when heavy rain fell for a few hours there too. Um, but here in the northwest, it's been steady and gradual, um, and of course, as well, I mean, it's not particularly heavy, but there's rather a lot of rain falling, and that's been the case for quite some time. Um, looking at the forecast, it appears that it will continue for a few more hours before um, leaving again. So, <clears throat> not particularly a, um, a significant event here in the northwest. I'm not sure about elsewhere in the UK because I haven't yet looked. Um, but um, yeah, not the worst storm we've ever had, by any means. Uh, but yeah, heavy rain. Uh, we, we had a bit of a dry spell in the UK recently before more rains came from the start of August. Uh, so I think it's still more beneficial than anything. Um, I don't think we'll see significant flooding problems, at least in this area anyway. Um, but yeah, lots of heavy rain has fallen. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is ex-Bertha here in the UK. Um, on, um, sorry, I keep saying July all the time, I don't know why. Uh, the date is August the 10th, 2014. Um, on the forecast, the storms are expected to continue towards the north, um, over the North Sea, and either loop over the coast of Scotland and move back towards the North Sea, could intensify whilst it does that too, or cross the North Sea and affect Norway, um, and then continue towards the North, uh, towards the Arctic Circle, believe it or not. Um, this is at 53 degrees north, by the way, so Bertha has made it a long way while still being a distinguishable system, and it is um, still an extratropical cyclone. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a congratula congratulatory speech to Bertha or something like that. <laughs> Of course, it was a hurricane, the 20th of 2014, worldwide. Of course, the second in the Atlantic after Arthur. And then it turned post-tropical as it reached 40 degrees north, south of Nova Scotia. And it's remained so ever since. Those of you looking out for other video updates on the 413 channel, it was supposed to happen last night, but sadly it didn't. So uh, video updates on other storms will follow uh, hopefully at 2 p.m. UTC today, August the 10th. Of course, the website is always being updated, 413.com. You visit each individual tracking page. You can see what's going on around the world. Halong is soon to be no longer with us, crossing Japan right now. Genevieve also weakening, and Julio could still provide a little bit of a threat to Hawaii, but I don't think it's going to be too much of an issue. It's going to pass to the north. Elsewhere, it appears that no other storms are going to form anytime soon, or at least in the next couple of days. No inverse active last time I checked. And so the tropics may have a little bit of a quiet spell in the, in the next few days, unless um, something pops out of nowhere to change that. As far as thunderstorms are concerned, I've not seen any in relation to this storm. We had a little bit of rain um, in the early hours of this morning, but it really started up as we came into the morning. And this is probably um, the heaviest of what we've seen so far. And a rather prolonged spell as well, this. As you can see, the trees aren't shaking too much, but um, it's a bit breezy, there's a bit of wind coming in, maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour, but nothing significant at all, really. You may remember in February when we had an extratropical storm 
affect the UK. Of course, it wasn't a remnant of a tropical system, but uh, uh, it, I did a video of that. That was on February the 12th. Um, if you search it, stormy weather in Merseyside or something like that, when I went out filming. Uh, and that, you'll have seen, would have been much worse than this. This was Nathan Foy, Storm Tracker at 4.13. Over and out.